Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is a part two video of our prior uh, avoid search delegation warning video where actually I have uh, walked you through how you can actually avoid delegation warnings when you work with the SharePoint as a data source into your Power Apps. So for that solution, we have used one of our Power Automate as a middle tier, like which actually does the processing or searching of those items based on our filtering criteria and throws the output back to our Power App and where like we were interpreting that output and to show that result into a data table. So I'll just take two minutes of time just uh, opening that existing flow so that you can see what were the steps. Just a quick recap. So this was the flow which is having this Power Apps V2 as a trigger. Then I was getting items and in items I actually used the filter query with a string of on two, three columns. And then I was doing a select operation of just picking the few columns out of it. And then I was defining our own format with the delimited uh, pipes so that my string, my this previous step JSON can be splitted with this delimiter into Power Apps. Then finally, I have this respond to Power App. So there I created one string variable output and then return this output of join action to my Power App. So if I just close it and go back to my Power App, so uh, you can see if I click on the search icon, so it does have formula where like I was doing the entire interpreting of my result. So in the first step, I was just uh, splitting my response, which we got from this financial flow, like which is this power automate and then splitting that by a pipe and having that stored into one of the variable. And after that, I was just iterating through the split records and using a string split operations last and first find like I was actually doing the uh, extraction of the actual values. So though like you can see like it's multiple function is being used over here. So though like uh, we were able to get our result working, but it's quite a cumbersome way of doing it. But yeah, right now, because the other feature which I am going to talk about today is parse JSON uh, feature or function. So that is an experimental. So till it gets live, like we have to actually follow this uh, uh, traditional methodology only splitting or getting extracting the values. So I'll just quickly run it. And if I just change the query as uh, search query and fil click on filter. So it gives me the result related to my this Canada keyword into these three columns. So that's how it used to work. Now I will in today's video we would walk you through how we can use the experimental feature of parse JSON to pass this output in a easy or quick or clean way. So their first step is to enable the experimental experimental feature. So I'm just going to the setting of my app, going to the upcoming feature and I can find the parse JSON. So right now I have enabled it. So if it's disabled in your app, then just please enable it before using this formula. Otherwise you'll get a warning when we try to run or use this formula that is it's still in experimental and not enabled for your app. So I'm just enabled. And now uh, we will start changing this uh, formula like for the glass icon search. And before that, I have to actually modify our flow. So I'm just clicking on add it. And the output which we were actually using as delimited pipes. So now I'll remove that join operation. So I would not require to have this join operation. So simply you can delete it or you can directly finally go to your this final step and then remove this output and use the output of select directly instead of join operation. So I'm just using the output of select and saving it. So now like I would be just getting the uh, JSON as I responded back to my power app without any delimiter, uh, which we actually modified based on our previous video. So I just close it and again, like uh, let it get refresh. And directly I'll go to my this glass icon formula where we have written this. So now, as I said, like we don't have to split by pipe. So I can remove this altogether, the split operation and we'll have my this flow output just reading the output of my JSON. And I'll just keep it the clear financial collection, which we used to have, and that's fine. 
and over here into flow output right now is just a json so now i would be start using my parse json and now it's giving me that option of using parse json and i am just parsing my this flow output which i got from previous step so right now i have used this my formula is also uh, looks good but it will not work it will not give me the result and why because i have to actually uh, read this entire uh, past output in one of the tables so that i can interpret that via using values so i would be just using the table action and then pass our provide this output of a parse json to my table and the next step i have to now get rid of this cumbersome operation of string splitting and then finding last and first so i can just simply remove that start working with my this record dot value and dot i would be reading the country attribute out of my json and the same thing i would do for my other columns so i would just use product split and then remove this unit sold one again use this this record dot unit sold column so now i have this simplified formula where like i use the parse json uh, then converted that into table and use the columns to just bind this column into this collection and this collection financial collection which is already binded with our this table so if i just select my uh, this data table so in the source you can see like i have binded this financial column and if i added this field so these three fields are already showing up in this table so i have done i just need to save my power app so that i can start a fresh run of it and let me run and now i use a different keyword let's say friends and we'll do a fresh search so my power automate will execute the search and will throw the power json to my app and they are using the power json i am directly getting the output in a much cleaner way so it's binded i got this country column product column unit sold so as i said like it's in experimental so try to avoid it for now at least like till the it goes live and after that like our life would be much simpler when we work with the json and interpreting the data out of it so that is it for today's video it was a quick one but it completes it concludes the entire one like uh, where we wanted to avoid the search delegation and also pass the data which we are getting out of that power automate in a quick way so if you have any questions please please uh, feel free to drop your comments i'll try to answer and uh, if you like the video, please do press the like button and subscribe. Thank you.